Have you ever walked into a room and felt invisible to the women around you? It's not because you don't have what it takes. It's because there's a little known trait women pick up on. In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you exactly what it is and how you can start to use it to stand out effortlessly. It is true that what women want from men has gone beyond the surface level stuff like looks, money, and status. But we cannot overemphasize the need to create a very good first impression. And most times, first impression depends on your outlook, your appearance, it matters a lot. So in other words, look sharp. Wearing rumpled clothes or looking shabby is not going to help you create that first good impression. This doesn't mean that you have to wear the most expensive clothes and you know what not. Like having very neat haircut, well-trimmed fingernails, or just presenting yourself in a very neat manner, not shabbiness speaks a lot about your personality and determines how you're going to be perceived by women. So take care of yourself. Having a little bit of deodorant, do not hurt. Taking care of your breath, make sure that you do not have bad breath. The fun thing about bad breath is that sometimes you might not know that your mouth, the gas, the V, the ooze, most, most. Especially if you're the type that has this job that keeps you in one spot for maybe hours and then you don't get to talk, you don't get to say anything for maybe four hours, five hours on a stretch. Sometimes when you open your mouth to speak, there's every likelihood that you have a little bit of odor. It's not as if you're not taking care of your mouth, but what I'm saying is sometimes you can check your breath, you know, or maybe use a little bit of mouthwash. It doesn't hurt. It's going to help you and create the right impression. Recently, someone commented on one of my videos and said, we need to talk about these guys that usually have bad breath. And that comment is not out of place. I think it's a very valid point. And that is why I'm emphasizing on this issue of bad breath. Because it's something that is very simple and yet has a lot of power to determine how people, especially women, perceive you. So being conscious of your breath, would help you create the right first impression. This is a sense of calm, grounded confidence that doesn't need to prove itself. It's not about being loud or flashy. It's just that steady energy that shows that you're comfortable in your own skin. Trust me, women cannot ignore that. Women are naturally drawn to men who can stand on their own and are not easily swayed by what other people think. Examples of self-assured behaviors are making eye contact without hesitation, not in an intense way anyways. Not say we're going to look, you know, look with style. So just maintain a little bit of eye contact, which shows your presence. Number two, keep your body language open and relaxed. If you're standing, stand with your head held high. You don't need to bend over, you know, all of those Posture can show that you're not confident, but when you're confident in your own skin, you stand, you stand upright, chin up. Standing straight with your head held high shows that you're not tensed. Listening without needing to respond immediately, this shows that you are genuinely paying attention. Also, women notice men who are generous. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily money. You know, you can be generous with the way you throw a little bit of light jokes, generous with your smile, you know, just... Being generous naturally, a man who can take care of himself at least, feed yourself, clothe yourself, provide a roof over your head, and then have a little bit of leftover for a woman and maybe a child. Okay, you can't expect that all women will just run to you when you barely can take care of yourself, you barely can feed yourself, you know. You need to be okay in yourself before you're able to support another person. On a general note, women would like a man who is at least four years older than them. But this is not a guarantee for anything. It's not a guarantee that you're going to have a fulfilling relationship, mutually benefiting relationship. For me personally, my husband is five years older than me, but I'm not going to sit here and tell you that, yes, as a woman, you have to look for a man who is five years older than you. Or as a man, you need to find the woman whom you're five years older than. I mean, that is not a yardstick for anything. These things just happen. If it happens that, okay, fine, you're older than your wife or maybe your girlfriend that you intend to get married to with five years or maybe four years, fine. As long as the relationship is working. You know, recently I came across this video on YouTube where the guy was saying that biblically a man is not supposed to marry a woman whom he is younger than because the woman will not be able to respect the man. And for me, I think I disagree with that point because honestly, women do not respect age. Women respect traits. 
traits of genuine relationship like empathy, friendship, kindness, trust, being generous, you know, all of these things. You can be older and do not embody all of these things. So it's not a guarantee that you're going to get the maximum respect that you deserve. So take that age thing out of the whole equation. It's just a fancy number. It's not a guarantee that you're going to have a happy relationship and a happy ending. Because at the end of the day, we do not respect age. We respect what you represent and what you bring on. Do you get? So it's a very wrong way to say that hey, you must look out for a woman that you're older than. If it happens that you have someone you're older than or you're younger than, to me, it doesn't matter. The most important thing is what do you do? Do you embody the traits that make for a very good partner? Do you have empathy? Do you have integrity? Are you honest? Do you trust? Are you someone who can be trusted? These are the things that people look out for. And honestly, these are the things that is going to guarantee the longevity of your relationship. So whether you're 20 years older or you're 15 years older or you're even five years younger, if you're the man... If you stand well, stand correct, no now. <laughs> she will respect you, no matter whether or she be your auntie. I've seen relationships where the woman is older and you won't even know. Because the guy is even looking as if, you know, looking like the boss and being the boss. So you won't even notice. So please, if you're listening to me and maybe you're caring about her, she's older than me with three years, four years, five years, what am I going to do? What are people going to say? Or you know what, all of that. Just always remember that the most important thing are the traits that make for a good partner. Not about your age or where you've come from or the color of your skin. But if you embody the right traits, then the right woman will stay with you. So, if you're ready to make a lasting impression without chasing or trying so hard, start today by developing that self-assuredness, that confidence. Subscribe for more insights that can change your relationships and mindsets. As always, I'm your humble host, Wendy Zill. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.